My misperceptions and beliefs about sex, my sexual education, started in fifth or sixth grade. One of my good friends was the son of a medical doctor, and when I spent the night at his house, we would get his dad's illustrated medical books and examine the human body. That put a lot of images into my mind that I really had no idea how to process. The only really good thing that came out of that experience was that I knew the proper medical terms for most of the sexual parts. I can remember being in the locker room after practice as a freshman in high school and hearing the senior guys talk about their sexual exploits. I really looked up to those guys and I hung on their every word. The problem was that most of their stories were either not true or greatly exaggerated. And so my sex education took another wrong turn. The confusion continued on into adulthood. Like most guys at 20 years of age, I thought about sex. In fact, I thought about it a lot. And when Nancy and I got engaged to be married, I thought I was well on my way to having my sexual desires fulfilled for life. The engagement period and wedding ceremony were only a means to an end. I planned the perfect honeymoon. I had great ideas to bring to our sexual relationship. But there was one thing I overlooked. I never, ever communicated any of this to Nancy. And that became a huge obstacle. I brought a suitcase full of sexual baggage into our marriage. My ideas about sex were totally based on the context of the culture I lived in. Sex was sex, I thought, and building a great sex life in marriage would not take any effort at all. It would just happen. It did not take long for me to realize how far that was from the truth. So let me ask you some questions. How did you view sex before marriage? What events and attitudes from your past have affected your sexual behavior and your attitudes? How have they influenced your sex in marriage? Is your sex life in marriage everything it could be? And if it's not, why not start working on it today? Mm -hmm.